So I want to take a second to talk to you about the how do I stop the you're my friend or you're not my friend drama that we often see in preschool classrooms, also known as you can't come to my birthday party. Um, that's one of the familiar phrases that you'll hear. And once you start hearing that, you know you've got a problem and um, it's super normal but it's also very mean and it can really hurt feelings. So we've got to take action quickly to show our kids that this is not okay. And the longer that it goes on, the harder it will be to break the habit. So I'm going to show you how to put an end to this meanie behavior with a firm but loving style, um, it's important to show your kids that you're not cool with this kind of behavior, not even a little bit, and you don't wanna hear this kind of talk. Uh-uh, not at all, never. So you wanna start having some serious whole group conversations. I would get them all together and talk about how we are all friends and even if you don't play with everyone all the time you are nice to everyone all the time you get to choose who you play on the playground with and that's fine but you do not have the choice to be mean to anyone it's not even an option here in our classroom i <clears throat> i don't want to hear anyone saying you can't play with me or you aren't my friend it's fine that they're not your best friend, but you are nice to everyone in this classroom. We are nice to all of our classmates because we're nice kids. And because it makes us sad when someone says those things to us. We don't wanna make our classmates sad. So in this classroom, we take care of each other and it's not a choice. I would maybe bust out uh, a special pack of stickers like rainbows or something specific where you can say, I'm going to be carrying around these beautiful rainbow stickers today. Wow, look at them. Um, or you could use a smelly spot, but just pick one special thing that you can do to reward a child that is being a good friend. So whether it's a certain kind of sticker, a specific smelly spot, you're going to say, I'm going to listen for kids who are being good friends. And then you're going to give some examples of what good friends say. So to your kids, you'll say, good friends say things like, sure, you can play with us. Or I play with everyone. Um, even if they aren't my best friends, I'm nice to everyone. And so for that day and maybe the next few days, you kind of go overboard on the rewards. So putting on... The stickers, if you hear someone say one of the nice things or um, giving them the smelly spot when you hear it and making a big example of it and saying, I just heard them say that, sure, you can play with us. I play with everyone. Um, and if you hear a kid say, you're not my friend, you're going to give them a pretty firm, we don't talk like that in this classroom. It's not okay to say those things here. And... In a loving way, you let them know that it's not welcome here. No one likes to feel that way, and we don't make people feel like that in our classroom. And you kind of get them on board with the idea of, you're a nice kid. Our classroom is a place where we take care of each other, and no one wants anyone to be mean to them. So we're not having any of it. And I know you're going to be great at doing this. And you just build them up, and then use the stickers or smelly spots to reinforce that constantly for a few days until you can get those bad habits out of the way.